The accident in Fukushima in March 2011 revealed once again the risks connected to the use of nuclear power. After the catastrophe, Europe's energy commissioner, Gunther Oettinger, promised to review the safety of all EU nuclear plants on the basis of comprehensive and transparent assessments. But only 54 out of 145 reactors were visited, and the so-called stress test failed to address crucial risks. Stress tests of nuclear reactors could be an important safety step, but only if they are based on a robust comprehensive criteria and, crucially, carried out by independent experts. Instead, the criteria only covered a limited list of scenarios and risks focusing on natural disasters, with an emphasis on floods and earthquakes in particular. Furthermore, the tests were carried out by the operators themselves and the national regulatory agencies, which often have strong ties to the nuclear industry. This exercise has been orchestrated to cause as little stress to the nuclear industry as possible, according to Green's EFA co-president, Rebecca Harms. While the report found deficiency in many of Europe's nuclear reactors, there are no real proposals for the follow-up. The stress test and the finalizing report lack a fundamental consideration of possible dangers. The tests, as they've been carried out, fail to answer questions of how safe European plants really are. The most dangerous nuclear reactors identified in the process were not requested to be shut down. Terrorist attacks and aircraft crashes have not been considered explicitly as an initiating event. Degradation effects, in particular those caused by the aging of plants and material fatigue, were not considered. The prevention of nuclear accidents is practically excluded. Scenarios like fire, electrical surges, pipe leakage, valve malfunction and human failures were not included in the stress tests. Even this extremely limited test revealed faults in the EU reactor fleet that will cost tens of billions of euro to fix. And even if all this money has been spent, the risk of a severe accident in the future cannot be excluded. It is unwise to dismiss the possibility of any undesirable accident occurring on the grounds of its remote probability alone or of the results of any stress test. We need to phase out this high-risk technology now.